some of the SOEs? Well, I've long believed that, that that's a very good idea. That's good for the SOEs and will be good for the investing market. It, it's only politics and it's only tribal politics looking for votes that argues that they've got anything to do with the privatisations that happened in the 1980s. The privatisations that happened in the 1980s were generally well-intentioned, but in some instances um, the lack of knowledge and the simplistic um, adherence to uh, textbook philosophy saw a number of short-termists take advantage of undervalued assets, which gave privatisation a bad name as far as New Zealanders are concerned. And I think that New Zealanders lose from that. And it's a bit like saying Wall Street um, is the only way that capitalism can work. Wall Street is not a good reflection. It's an embarrassment to good capitalism. Good capitalism, um, through competition, provides efficiency of asset allocation, of capital allocation, security of jobs, and good employment. Um, and for consumers, the best results and service. The sort of stuff that we see in Wall Street um, doesn't add any value um, to uh, the American economy or the world economies, but doesn't mean to say that we should throw the baby out with the bathwater. So I think the SOEs, um, they will remain 51% government owned. Um, they will provide many people an opportunity to participate um, in ownership of those assets. The management, consumers and directors will all benefit from accountability. Uh, there will be some offshore investors of the type that we like, those providing passive capital who will consider investing in New Zealand when they haven't. And the government will have a little bit of capital from a sell down of those assets that it badly needs at the moment for purposes such as Christchurch and better directing our economy. Well, thanks a lot for your time, Lloyd. That's Lloyd Morrison, the founder of Infratil and chairman of Morrison & Co. And I'm Gareth Vaughan from interest.co.nz.